Last week we got the trusses installed for the addition build and the roof sheeted. Today that is getting dried in and all of the metal ordered so we can wrap up the roof project. We also got the apron formed out so that the little driveway area in front of the garage is ready for the pour. And the most exciting thing, we started a second channel called GSL Uncut. If you missed that last week, we have a link down in the description. We now have our first two video podcasts up and we are so excited for this new project. This week, we are hoping for two things. One, to get our horse hay cut. The weather is absolutely perfect, but we are on a waiting list, but we do hear the farmer in the field next door, so we're hopeful that that will get cut this week. And Jeremy and I are finally going to be tying in the addition build to the main house. Kenji, are you enjoying the dryer vent? It's <laughs> so smart. It's like 80 degrees out. It's like, this is fine. The roofers are doing a great job making very quick progress of getting everything sealed up there. In the meantime, we have to run into town and grab some materials since we didn't actually factor in this little hallway build that we're doing with our lumber package order. Right, and since we are headed to the depot anyway, we might as well get the windows ordered because those are probably gonna be a few weeks out. Do you have the window plans? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have those opening and then let's go a foot wider on them, so 36 by 60. Okay. All right, it sounds like our windows will be in in three to five weeks, which is really quick, way quicker than we thought. So that's exciting. We got all of our lumber. We're going to go pay for that and then get to work. Right, we are all set. We purchased everything it is that we need to make this connection happen between Gabby and the main house, this love connection. Remember that TV show from the 80s? I do. Great show. Anyway. <laughs> So we've got some walls to build and stand in place, tie back into the house. But before that can happen, there's a bunch of work that needs to occur with our angle grinder because... Because we need to remove our Everlog concrete siding for the area where the walls will actually connect. And then we're just going to remove it all around the door as well. Because that way, once the hallway is up, we can do something different in that space. Or some interior finish work. Yeah. What are we going to do for that? Do we even know yet? Um, I don't know. Maybe some tongue and groove or something. Something really... Where is your brain today? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Just saying, ooh, tongue and groove. You're really it. looking forward to it? Okay. I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to get Jeremy's mind out of the gutter and we're going to get to work. I didn't even say anything. What do you mean? I know. Oh, my goodness. We're making a plumb line mark. Uh, to help guide me with my cuts from the outer edge of our concrete footer for the walls straight up. We're going to go nine feet in total height because we have to clear this doorway, which is actually elevated from the ground level. Not critically, critically important since in the future we are going to be using the same Everlog siding to side these walls, the exterior portion. There's also going to be an inside corner trim piece that lands right here that'll cover any gap that we might end up with. I'm really just trying to make sure that I don't cut too far into the siding so that uh, we're not screwing anything up down the road. So. We'll finish making these marks, fire up that angle grinder, and make all of our necessary cuts. No! The green siding on the house is back! <laughs> Hello, Zip! Welcome back! <laughs> Remember when we were like, we hope we never see this again? I know. <laughs> there it is. Spoke too soon. So we're getting this first piece removed. We're now seeing that we have uh, studs, which I assumed we did given where the door placement is, but we have a stud right here lined up almost perfectly with the exterior portion of this wall that we're going to be hopefully building tomorrow. So we can tie back into that. It should be nice and sturdy and solid. Good news. All right, we're switching up our uh, method here. We, like dope, started from the bottom and then we were trying to pull the flange out, but it's screwed in because it is on a stud. So now we are starting from the top and we're going to be working our way down. That way we can just unscrew each piece. We're using our, our thinkers now. It feels so weird to be cutting back into the house. <laughs> like I'm having a mental freak out while doing it in the middle of it, literally. I know, we're not supposed to do uh, that. Yeah, we're demoing the sidewall to the house. It's so, so bizarre. 
So we had one light on the exterior by the side door and that unfortunately needs to be removed because it is sitting right smack where that front wall is going to land. So we're going to have to get a little creative with the mounting block and all of that. The wall may hide it, but we're still going to need a light. So once we get the front wall up, we're going to reroute the wire and the light to be over by the door on the front wall, which is just going to be a better place for it. But in the meantime, we're going to remove it and then get the rest of the siding off. There's a thunderstorm coming. Uh -huh. I'm going to race against the storm. My mom told me it was when God was bowling when I was little. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with bowling. Hashtag science. gonna miss us. I hope so. Serious cock doesn't wanna, there we go. <laughs> Stop this heavy duty. Removing the very last of the Everlog concrete siding and I think that's going to be good timing because the sky is getting a little iffy out here for today but we have had quite a few questions on what kind of siding are we going to be doing on the addition so we do want the addition to match the house and look like one unit especially since we are connecting it with that hallway so we're going to be using the same concrete Everlog siding if you haven't been around on the channel for over a year you may not know that our siding is not actual timbers it is made out of concrete that is poured into timber molds to give the appearance of timber without all the maintenance of timber siding. So we love it and we're really excited to be able to do it again on the addition. So we thought we're done with the house. It is never done. It's never done, <laughs> I swear. This is a bad habit of ours. We haven't even lived in here a year yet. Come on. There's someone running around in your head tonight, circling your heart like a satellite. I know. There's ghosts in the road in my home, that's right Where creeks and the floors and the water pipes run cold <laughs> You might have your company But I've got these lines and memories to hold Keep close All right, it is officially time to start framing these walls. We are starting with the big wall, and I mean big as in width, not... <laughs> girth is what she means, girth, a lot of girth. Jeez. I'm just not gonna say anything, because every time I say something, then you just go, <laughs> you explain it. So the first wall we're gonna be putting together is actually gonna be the back wall, more toward the back side of the house. Hopefully that makes sense. And we're actually gonna be using two by 12s to get that done. Reason being... We want it girthy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> now it actually has to be extra wide because we're going to be running a lot of our plumbing out of the house, tying that back into the addition. So we need that extra space for things like the four inch ABS that's going to serve as the drain pipe for things like the, the toilet and shower and everything else that we plan to have here in this living space. Yeah, there were a lot of questions as to why we didn't run the plumbing underneath the slab before we poured the slab. And it's because our plumbing will come down from the apartment, through the garage, through that wall and tie back into the house. Yep. So we are going to be constructing this wall here inside the garage and then carrying it around because it is made of 2x12s. It is going to be pretty heavy, but we are doing two foot on centers because again, 2x12s are very strong. So the reason that we are going with the 12 inch wall is because we needed not only room for all of the plumbing and the drain lines and all of that, but we also needed room for extra insulation. We are actually going to be heating the garage space and the hallway on the really cold nights. We'll probably keep it at about 45, but we don't want to take any chances because we do have pretty cold winters. So we're going to make it 
extra girthy. Jeremy is getting those two by 12s cut and I'm taking a little hydration break. It is definitely time for my daily AG1. So you guys have heard me rave about AG1 for about a year now and that is because I genuinely drink it every single day. It has been incredible for not only my energy but just my overall feeling of wellness. AG1 is not only delicious but it's also the perfect all-in-one screen powder packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source superfoods and probiotics in one simple daily serving. It's also so easy to stick to because it is so quick and easy to make. It's eight ounces of water, one scoop or travel pack, shake it up and you are good to go. So probably the most common question I get asked about AG1 is exactly what does it taste like? To me, I taste the freshness of the wheatgrass and then that fruity sweetness of the papaya and the apple and the pineapple. It has a whole bunch of other really good stuff in it. All of it is listed right on the label, but those are the flavors that I taste the most and what I think makes it taste so refreshing. Okay, so I realize it's green, like really, really green, and that can be a stumbling block for some people. If you are one of those people, I do not want you to miss out on all the incredible benefits of AG1, so I've got a little life hack for you. Just mix it up as directed, and then you pour it into ice cube trays or muffin tins and make frozen AG1 smoothie cubes. Then when you make your favorite smoothie, just toss the serving in instead of regular ice cubes, and it tastes incredible that way as well. The whole reason I started drinking AG1 in the first place is because it supports your gut health and a healthy digestion. And that not only makes you feel better, but it supports your immune system, your energy, your focus, your recovery, even aging. All of those things were so helpful with our crazy lifestyle. So to check out AG1 for yourself, just click the link down in our description and you are going to get a year's supply of the D3K2 drops plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. You're gonna need that squirt. He's good. Good. Let's go! Let's go! Kenji, let's go! Oh my god. Kenji! So we have elected to remove two of the studs just to make the wall weigh less, and then we will toenail those in once we have the wall in place. If we were able to build it by where it needs to go and just raise it up and set it on, it would be no big deal. But unfortunately, there's nowhere to build it over there, so we had to build it here inside the garage, and now we have to carry it out the big doors, around, over the little staircase, through the woods to grandmother's house to go. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, Against the wall. You pinch? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so now we have a new plan of attack. We're actually going to be cutting off all of the anchor bolts after all of that. The problem we are having is we can't approach from the back because the Everlog siding sticks out about an inch and a half, and so the wall, it doesn't fit because it actually needs to sit flush with the zip and not the siding. So we tried to approach it from the front, but the problem we're having is once we get up and over the stairs and we have to be kind of canted in order to get in there, it is pinching at the top. We can't get up and over the anchor bolts because the side that has the siding on it needs to have the siding at the top and we're putting a bunch of pressure on that and we're risking cracking it, which would be a disaster because lap siding. So we're just gonna cut the bolts off, set it on that way, and then we'll replace the bolts from there. Alright guys, we're good. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So easy. Did you learn anything? Yeah, not to come out with the after all. <laughs> <laughs> And every fall has a rise, every burn has a flame. From foolish to wise, we all bruise the same. No 
know what? I'm over this. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You don't want to do it? Let's just wrap it up tomorrow. Okay. You okay with that? It's like seven o'clock, yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay, so we have a, a new plan and our new plan is to rest and to pick this up tomorrow because nothing's going smoothly. <laughs> and our uh, our idea of being able to move it onto place is not working. We're running into the exact same issue, so those bolts need to be cut. And yeah, it's just one of those days. <laughs> Things aren't going real smooth, and uh, we keep encountering problems. So we're both kind of over it at this point. Yeah, uh, we'll chalk this up as a burnout day. We did get some stuff done, not as much as I wanted to. It's going to set us behind tomorrow, so extra long day tomorrow. But we will uh, will be a commit to hopefully wrapping things up. Do what Wrap I can. It up. Just over it. It's been a crappy day. <laughs> Before we totally call it quits, we wanted to remind you guys that we did start a second channel last week. It is called GSL Uncut, and it is basically just that. Jeremy and I really diving into some issues that we care about. We have two full episodes up right now. Episode one is just where we came from, who we are, and how we got here. And then episode two gets totally weird. It dives into some rabbit holes, everything from cyberbullying to AI to humanity as a whole. So that was a really fun conversation to have. So many people have already checked those two episodes out and we have had so much positive feedback and constructive criticism and we appreciate it so much. So we are getting ready to sit down with Nevea, our oldest, our teenager, and have those uncomfortable conversations that no parent wants to actually have with their teenager, but we're gonna do it on the podcast. So that conversation should be very, very interesting. So if you have not checked it out already, we're going to leave a link down below. We would love if you guys would just let us know what you think of this new format. And if you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe and the bell, and then you will be notified every single time that we have a new podcast out. So thank you again so much for everyone that has already checked it out. We are going to rest for the evening and then we will be back to work tomorrow. Are you scared of the patio? What do you think? Look at you standing on concrete. Searching high knows I search Today is a brand new day, which is great because last night we were very tired and we were feeling a little defeated, but this morning we woke up to the rumble of the hay swather, which might sound weird, but when you have horses in a hay field, that is a very, very good sound every year. The next couple days look really nice and hot, so fingers crossed. No rain, super important for our horse hay. Today, we are gonna conquer these walls. We are gonna finish them, we are gonna rock it. Jeremy is building out that box header and I'm just noticing that 
we have two walls now connecting the addition to the house. When you're working, you don't often notice it until you stand back, but it really helps me to kind of visualize the space and what it's gonna look like. So we're hoping to do a big shoe rack on this wall, which is why we didn't do a window. We considered putting a window there, but I'm like, no, I want a big industrial shoe rack. It's total wishful thinking on your part. Nobody's gonna use the, any shoe rack. Why won't you guys use the shoe rack? We know from history. Tiny home, shoe rack, nobody used it. Now I use outside, it. you use it, nobody else does. The kids don't use it. I spend 10 minutes every morning putting all the shoes on the rack. Put your shoes on the rack. Never. We finally got done what we meant to get done yesterday, but it's good because it's finished and that's all that matters. Yeah, it looks really good. We still have a couple little tiny things to do here and there, like our double top plates. We'll do that when we attack the roof. But in the meantime, it looks good, happy with it. And the addition is officially connected to the house, which yeah. is huge for us. Yeah, that's really exciting. So we have the 4th of July coming up. So for today, we're not gonna push it. We're just gonna call it quits early. I gotta go pick up some exciting, fun things. And we're gonna go celebrate with the family. Spend some time with the kiddos. And spend some time with family is just what we did. Every 4th of July, we join millions of other families and we take the day just to celebrate being together in a place where we are free to build our dreams and raise our families as we see fit. Each year we remember the sacrifices made by so many who came before us. Those who laid the groundwork for this beautiful country that we are so fortunate to live in. And it brings a sense of gratitude one that I wish I remembered to always reflect on. Because when you focus on gratitude, all those little annoyances just fade away and we're able to truly see the many blessings that we all enjoy. It was just a great day with my favorite people and a strong reminder not to let those bad days affect you so much and to always let your good days affect you more.